Hello YouTube and welcome to Let's Play A Game by Learning Company Robot Odyssey So basically uh we're gonna do this let's play here uh because this game is is often known as the hardest game ever. So let's do some tutorial. Let's do the robot dynamic tutorial. And of course we gotta switch discs. Hold on one second. Robot and Amy, your disc cursor. Move use the I, J, K, and M keys, or in modern sense, the W, A, S, D keys. Joystick, which we're using the gamepad here for emulation, or the mouse, which very anyone uses on the Apple IIe. In Robot Anatomy, you'll learn how to move, handle objects, and how robots move, send signals, grab objects, Tag objects, all the arrows. You can pick up and drop objects. Pick up an object, move on top of it, the space bar with the joystick or mouse button. Pick up this key and move it around. Drop it, press the space bar with the button again. Take the key with you. Well, moving on the diagonals. You can move in small steps. Press the control key and I, J, A, or M at the same time. This, this sentry is trapped. Let out, hold the key, by the handle. Use small steps, put the key in the lock like this. Bingo! Have a nice day! This is the robot. You can go inside it. Go inside, line yourself up with one of the robot's white bumpers and move and slowly. It may take a few tries. Go inside and explore. Yep, you got the part of the, uh, so you got the antenna, the, uh, grabber, the uh, bumper, the thruster, the battery, the eye, and the switch. The thrusters are the important part here. Without them, it, it does nothing. Come back out and take the robot with you. And we'll do just that. You can be inside of the robot and still see outside. Go inside the robot. Sit on the robot's eye, the back of it, it's periscope. Move off the eye to see inside the robot again. So let's have a look. Yep, nice view. I'm outside. Take the robot with you for the next few f rooms. You can put things inside robots. You can even put robots inside robots. Roboception. Pick up the triangle, carry it inside the robot, and drop it. I'm gonna come outside. We'll do just that. Hold the arrow. This is an input. Some robot parts connect to the inputs. Go inside the robot and see. Electricity flows into the input, 
turns on the robot part. You can see electricity flow. It is orange. This is an output. Some robot parts connect to outputs. Go into the robot and see. When the robot part is activated, the electricity flows out of its output. When a robot touches the wall, its bumper beeps and turns orange with electricity. Inside the robot, the bumper's output turns on too. Try and see what happens. Inside a robot are four thrusters. You can propel robots by making electricity flow into the thrusters units. There's also a battery inside the ro a robot. This robot cannot move because the battery is already dead. Use this energy crystal to recharge dead batteries. Pick it inside the robot, pass it over the battery, inside the battery fills electricity. It goes dead white as, all, as its electricity drains. I guess we better Get our robot back. Oh, the crystal's dead. So we'll get the, uh, We'll get the, well, time to bring this silly bucket of bolts, uh, a few screens. Use the crystal recharge to recharge energy crystals. Bring dead energy crystal outside, pass it over to the recharger, and watch the electricity. You need to take your robot with you. Move the robot so only uh, its top rubber touches top roll. Drop it. The robot touches a wall. It flows from the bumper to the thrusters propelling the robot. Grab the robot. Thruster moves a robot in the direction opposite of its thrust. When the left thruster is on, the robot moves right. When the right thruster is on, the robot moves left. What happens when the top or front but, but bottom thruster is on? Just like that. Switch inside the robot turns electricity flows of the thrusters on or off. Go inside and sit on switch, press the space bar to open and close it. Thrusters work when the switch is closed orange. Open the switch to save batteries. Get the little robot here.
Turn that robot off. Now, the antenna controls inside a robot. Go inside a robot controls the antenna outside. When the input is on, the robot antenna sends signals to the other robots, wherever they may be. When a robot antenna receives signals, the antenna's control, antenna controls output turns on. Grabber control inside the robot controls the grabber outside the robot. When the grabber's controls input is on, the robot will grab the object that is the robot's body. No, nope, robots can't grab objects held by you or another robot. When a robot grabs an object, the grabber controls output turns on. There are sensors used in inside robots to detect objects that match the sensor shape. Each of these sensors detect energy crystals in a different way. This is a contact sensor. It detects objects that touch it. Said robot. It detects objects that touch the robot's body. Place the square on the sensor. See, why when you let go? The arrow turned orange, that is correct. This is an in same room sensor. In same room. Inside a robot detects objects in the same room as the robot. Sensors can't detect an object as held. Pick up the triangle and what what happens? It turns off. So or no. This is a directional sensor. It detects the direction of an object in the same room. That a robot, it detects the direction of an object in the robot's room. Pick up the sensor. Move it around the crystal. Outputs point in the uh, direction of the crystal turn on. Yep. Definitely works. Next door is a robot wired with free sensors. Sensors are wired to make the robot beep when it contacts the square. Move left, uh, right towards an energy crystal. Move down when a triangle is in the room. Go inside the robot. Notice uh, how the sensors are wired. So it can detect triangles uh, in the same room here. It can detect uh, energy crystals uh, in a direction. And the square here detects uh, whether the robot makes contact or not. Okay, watch this. We're going to we're going to make the robot bump. I have a dead beep. Robot next door is wired to pick up and carry an object. Robot is also wired to fall walls. Go inside the robot, close the switch, move Kook in the eye and watch how the robot works.
And I was about to grab that Rager Crystal. Good, 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 good. Drop a triangle on the robot above the make go. Let go of the crystal. Look inside to see why it works. Because, uh, triangle turns off the, uh, grabber and such. That's for sure. Yep. You have learned a lot about robot anatomy. Return to the menu to learn more. Press escape to turn the menu. Press question mark for help or hints. Also, uh, one thing to show, uh, what happened you go further than that? Ah! Short drive between the beginning and the end of Robot Nami! Make sure we change our desk for what it is. Just press escape. Anyway, anyway, that's it. Uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Uh, see you next time.